Hey guys, welcome back to DTech Bros. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create a Google form using your mobile phone. So let's get started. First you have to open any browser with your Gmail account logged in on your phone. And then you have to search Google Forms. And once that's done, you should just click on the first link. So now under personal, you have to click on go to Google Forms. And now you will be able to see a form on your screen. So now I am going to show you how to edit it. First, we are going to add a title to this form. Just click on untitled form over here and you can name it whatever you want. So I will just keep it as form. And then if you want to add a description, you can click on form description to add anything you want. So I will just keep it as subscribe. And now you can add the questions. So you can see that one question is already over here. So to edit it, click on it. And now you can type in anything you want. And you can design what type of answers you want by clicking on this arrow over here. So the options which you have are short answer in which it will be 2-3 words answer. Then a paragraph which will be a longer answer. Then a multiple choice. So in multiple choice, you can put many options out of which one is correct. Then there is checkbox where you can again put many options, but there could be more than one correct answer. And then this drop down. So now I will show you how to do a multiple choice question. So click on that. And now to add the options, just click on option one. So this will be option one. And to add another option, click on add option, which is below it. And like that you can continue to add more and more options. Now to add one more question, click on plus button over here. Then if you type in the question and you can again decide what type of answer you want the user to submit. So this I will put short answer so that they can answer this question in a couple of words. If you enable this required option, this means that the user can submit the form unless they have answered this question. So I am going to show you how to add questions and put an image in the question. Click on the plus button again and now you can see that there is an image button on the right. And click on that and over here you have different methods of inserting an image. So for now I will insert an image and now if you just click on insert after selecting it and now you can see the image come here. So again you can add question over here and you can decide what type of answer you want. So let us keep it checkbox with different options. Now we have added the questions and if you just want to see how the forms look there is an option to do that. So if you go to the top and click on the dots over here and click on preview. So now this form open on a new tab so you will be able to see everything you have put there. After answering these questions, it's told me that it is a required question. And to see whether a question is required or not, you can see if there is an red asterisk next to the question. And after answering, I am submitting this form. So I will just click on submit. So I am now going back to the earlier tab and here let us see the responses. So click on the responses over here. So over here, you can see all the responses. You can scroll down and you can see how many people picked a certain answer. And if you want to see individually who picked what, you can click on individual and you will be able to see which answer the person picked. Now to change the theme of the form, select this icon over here and you can decide which color you want it to be the background of your form and you can also change the font. Then if you want to send this form to someone else, click on this icon over here. So if you want to send the form via email to someone, you can add the person's email ID over here. You can also share the form via a link. For that click on this icon, then you can see a link over here. To shorten it, click on the shorten URL. So you can see the link became short. You just need to copy and share it to another platforms. So this is how a Google form is made on mobile. If you guys like this video, please like, comment and share it with your friends and make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notification icon for future updates. See ya.